Hey guys, Nick here. Today I'm going to walk you through how to filter for the top X rows in your data set. And I actually learned how to use this node or how to do this uh, function at the uh, North America Data Connect this past February of 2022. Um, and I was in the second group of the that quote-unquote hackathon of exercise when Victor Palacios um, showed us how to use this node. So shout out to Victor uh, for putting me on this one. Uh, I'm going to show you guys now how it's done. So I just created some random data with this data generator node uh, you can see here. And the goal of today is going to be to take this universe 00, zero and to filter for the top, let's say, top four rows. Um, so first, I'll just filter or I'll just sort this descending so we know what the top four values are and what our output should look like. Um, so really we should have these four from 0.837 through 0.719 filter out um, using the node we're about to use now. Okay, so we'll go over to the node repository over here and you're going to search for top K and then you'll just grab this top K selector node and you can drag and drop under the workflow or double click to connect it to the currently selected node right um, and don't mind this stuff this is for another video on extracting row IDs that I uploaded recently but anyways so we're gonna you can see it's the node the top case selector node is in red which means we need to configure so to configure the node we'll double click and now this is what we're gonna do what we're going to tell NIME is we want to sort this data table by a particular value. We're going to say universe 00, zero and we want to sort descending so that the highest values are at the very top of the table. After we've done that, the next step is to go over here to the number of rows as defaulted at rows and we're just going to adjust this 5 over to 4. So what we're telling NIME is sort the table by universe 00, zero sort it descending, and then give me the first four rows once the table is sorted. So all we have to do is hit apply, hit OK, and now you can see our node is yellow, which means it's configured. So what we'll do next is we'll execute it by either right-clicking and hitting execute or by hitting the F7 button. Once we've executed, we can right-click and view the results by clicking on the top K table and now you can see we've got four rows and if we zoom in a little bit oh, wrong way now you can see this universe zero zero shows us from 0.837 all the way through 0.719 and the rest of the, the table is omitted or filtered out so that's how you use the top K selector node to select the top X number of rows in your data set. Um, if you guys have any questions or any comments, uh, just drop it in the comments. If you have suggestions for what type of videos you want to see next, drop a comment as well. I, I'd really appreciate that. So I know I'm putting together videos that will uh, be valuable to you guys. Otherwise, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share the video with your other data friends. I'll catch you guys on the next video.